안녕하세요. 림베시 싱가포 남재입니다. 네, 안녕하세요, 여러분들. 오늘은 뉴욕과 서울 교과서 연시 비교하기입니다. Yeah. So today, this video is about comparing the street food of New York and the street food of Seoul, right? So here I am in New York, right? Ooh, nice sunny autumn after winter afternoon actually. And in front of what we call food truck. Okay, everybody. Okay, so here. Yeah. See a food truck. Now, this kind of food truck is the face of New York street food, okay? And this is how how common food trucks are, you see. That's the Mexican food truck I was talking about. And down the street, there you have a halal food truck. So you see, even right in front of uh, these office buildings, you get like street food carts like, lined up like this. So street food is really a way of life here in New York. As you can see, the price is actually very, very cheap. Okay, comparatively cheap, you see. Uh, the chicken over rice, the rice is about $6, and the gyro is about $5. This is probably one of the cheapest way you can eat. It's like um, a lot of New Yorkers um, have this food truck for lunch, actually. So it's really more than just a street food. It's actually an everyday food kind of thing here. And as you can see, a lot of people eating here. Uh, so on the food truck behind and yeah it's really their lunch <laughs> it's not just some snack there and here is my order the order is coming up so this is what a gyro looks like something like over fat burrito or taco or something and uh, i always like it with a hot sauce uh spicy sauce let's try mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's the falafel you see? Here. This this part here. Okay, I can't point here. But yeah, just the falafel. Tastes really good. Oh well, this is one truly one of my most favorite New York street food. So here's a closer look at my falafel the oop I uh, dropped on the floor. <laughs> so here's a look at the food truck. So basically halal food truck sell, sells chicken, lamb and falafel mainly. So, chicken, lamb and falafel in all kinds of configurations. So here we have another Mexican food truck as you can see. Uh, of course you have burrito, ques... Can't even pronounce this, what? Quesadilla or whatever. <laughs> and here in New York, unlike in Seoul where you have a street food of street foods like Myeongdong, here in New York there isn't any area where there's like a concentrated amount of street food. But from time to time when there's festivals going on, you can get free. Food, uh, street food stores like this which is always crowded here in Bryan Park just before Christmas day and you know you get all kinds of street food like uh, the good old sandwiches and look at this is uh, whatever Abru ah, Zinis street food I is that supposed to be a country? <laughs> but it looks <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good one, man! <laughs> Only in New York, man, come on! Let's yeah, exactly! It. <laughs> Only in New York you get this right here, man, right here! Yeah! Where is the arroz? Arroz Ticino! Oh, so here it is! <laughs> okay, let's, let's, okay, let's just get a seat here and see how it tastes. Thank you. Let's see how it tastes. Da -da 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 -da. Baby Bon Top. Yeah, yeah! What's the thing? Mmm, it tastes like steak. Salted, salted with no no seasoning, just salted. And of course it's New York, right? So the most popular street food around Manhattan area is of course hot dogs, like chili dogs. Like there's quite a few streets down the road here. Let's check it out. And as you can see the hot dogs here are about four to five. Five, four to six dollars, which again, like I mentioned just now, is like the average price of street food here. Can I have a chili dog, please? And here it is. Ooh, let's take a look. Ooh, do, do, do. Ooh. See, this is New York, and you know, chili dog. You, you have to try New York chili dog. <laughs> Baby, go to the chili Come with me now to Seoul and check out how... Oh, did I just beat? Wow! Come with us to Seoul and check out what the food, street food scene is like in Seoul. Let's go, Kaja! 
Zoom! Here we are in South Korea, Seoul. This is the Hongdae area for those of, those of you who know. And yes, South Korea is the street food nation, okay? Especially here in Seoul, street food is like everywhere. Let's check it out, you know, like in, in New York, street food takes the usually takes the form of food trucks. But here in Korea, it's like stores like this. Small stores like this, like this. They're literally everywhere, okay? Now, a very popular breakfast choice of Koreans is uh, uh, this topoki roadside stores like this street food. So a lot of people have this for breakfast on the way to work. So you have topoki with uh, tui kim, which is all the fried stuff, and uh, and a bowl of hot oding. Yeah, it's actually very nice. Yes. And then some street food in Korea are actually seasonal. Like this thing behind me called a hot dog. Uh, it's only available during the colder months like winter and then all through about spring and then they disappear it's really really nice and uh, it's really the experience of korea to hold one of these things and then you know walk down the street while eating what do i to say oh there you go yeah usually in a cup like this And it's really nice and hot and steamy. And it's look at really cold out here. And this is um oil fried with um sweet filling. See a steam coming out. So yeah, I just feel like Koreans love to have a hot hot dog like this. When the, when the weather is cold, <laughs> so do I. Mm, oh. Another very common for a Korean street food that I really like is our, this chicken stewers, barbecue chicken stewers, skewers. And you know, the barbecue chicken skewers here in Korea they are really big. Like, check it out, guys, the sizes. Look at that. Yeah, and there's a lot of, a lot of people are here. There's always a lot of people queuing up in this store. As you can see how big it is. Mm. And like all good Korean street food, there's a lot of different kind of craziest flavors like what wine cheese with all kinds of sesame seeds and nuts on, on chicken stewers. Who would have, who would have imagined that? Uh, fire chicken, okay this is the, the everything Korean needs to be spicy kind of thing. Cheese, yes everything Korean needs to be cheesy and many other flavors. That's a spicy one being made right now. Looks really good right? I usually like the spicy one as well, but today I just really feel like, you know, having the cheesy Oh, and the amount of cheese they put on it, <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> it's great. Here's my order. Oh, look at how baked up the mozzarella is. And I like it how he actually removed the skewer so it's easier to eat with. Here it goes. Oh, comes out with Oh, look at that. Hot and steamy. This is really good, especially in like cold weather like this. That's why, that's why there's a lot of people. Cold weather like this have a nice hot and steamy uh, chicken stewers. Oh, stew is really good. You know, I can't hold the food and eat at the same time because I need two hands. But yeah, here's a closer look. Do, 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 do. And then there are also many street food stores like this selling traditional Korean snacks. So all made from, uh, you know, a different, different kinds of uh, beans and nuts and and uh, wheat flour and stuff like that. This store itself is actually very famous as well in, here in Insadong. And then here in Insadong, you can actually get very creative looking street food like this. So I got Tong Pang, which is shit bread, okay? Tong mini shit. Pang is bread, so it is literally shit bread. Uh, yeah, yeah, I just I just did my hair. <laughs> yeah, it comes with chocolate and a red bean. Really nice. Take a look. Mmm. Mm. This is actually, actually one of the most popular street food here in New Zealand. So you guys come here, come around New Zealand a bit. You, can, you need to check this out. Here's another very common winter or cold weather street food here in Korea called the Keirampang, which is a uh, egg bread <laughs> and Ingopang. Okay, it's strange why this very delicious things only come out during the cold season, but maybe because it's so steamy hot. This is my favorite, by the way. Keirampang, how to say? 
So here it is, a steamy hot kerampang. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. So it's basically an egg on top with a um, egg on top with steam on top of a egg cake. If it makes sense. Mmm. See the steamy hotness. They see the full egg inside, coated in a cake of egg. Oh man, this is amazing. Oh yeah, more street food. More street food. Oh, takuchi. Oh, man, I really can't like show you guys how all each and every one of these things taste, man. <laughs> Gonna take me a year to cover this whole thing. <laughs> And South Koreans love their street food so much that they have an entire street dedicated to street food here in Myeongdong. Let's check it out, Kaja. From amazing, amazing like uh, dumpling street food, sausage street food to you know fried stuff. That you get this in New York as well. This. Okay. As you can see, this whole street here. Anybody who has been to Korea would know this street. It's crazy. You know, I can't even start to begin to eat here because the moment I get to the end of this street, which is, which is, well, like easily a hundred or two hundred meters down the street, the moment I eat all the way and I get down, that get done with this street, I will put on at least ten pounds, I think, and even roasted lobsters. And don't worry, they are not selling dog meat here; <laughs> it's potatoes. And this is probably the oldest and most traditional street food here in Korea where you know it's essentially just molten uh, sugar made into little uh, pancakes like this. Mm. Oh yeah, you guys see the big difference between street food in Korea and in New York. Like in New York, street food is staple. People eat street food for a living. But here in Korea, street food it's like it's it's just comfort food. Street food is just snacks. Like it's not something you eat as your main but they are everywhere and uh, it's really delicious, right? So, yep, hope uh, you guys enjoyed this issue and uh, yeah, see you guys next time.